You know, you touched on it, DIY investors. Yeah. You know, I speak to people sometimes and they think they know absolutely everything. But more often than not, they're burying their head in the sand with regards to something. Obviously, us being in the Middle East now, we're very blessed that there's no tax whatsoever. Yeah. And more often than not, it is a tax scenario that the head is buried for. And yeah. Just domiciliary of assets as yeah, well. People like, don't understand again, the difference between again, residency and domiciliary and everything yeah. like that. I mean, yeah. if so you're on Facebook groups, yeah. you see some of the stuff that there's gets that posted There's that whole thing that goes with that. But there's, I think they're just missing the point. Because they, like you said well, this, before, it it I just think, they just think well, we're Investments just going to advise you on a bunch of ETFs. And it's mm. that's not... That's not what we do. I think no. the, the conversations I'm having with clients at the moment as well, if, listen, if, if you are a DIY, DIY investor, and there are some very successful DIY investors out there, whether it's on a single, single stock basis, yep. basket of ETFs, VCs, whatever it yeah. might be, you want to keep running that, no problem. Yeah. Right? But, but let me show you the implications of running it, how you're running it, compared to wrapping it in something that we might be able to help with. You know, there's more yourself. to planning yeah. than buying an ETF and holding it, right? Yeah. With holding tax. You know, all yeah. this sort of stuff I'm, that yeah, clients I'm, need to be made aware of. I'm almost, I'm almost not interested in having a, yeah, you know, the investment a, a contest, yeah. Uh, yeah, a competition, yeah. Yeah. you know, or I invest better than you do. <laughs> no, that's not what it's about. You're missing the point. Keep.